All right, good morning, guys. We're back out here in the garden today, burying potatoes. We're starting with these sweet potatoes. <clears throat> you see, uh, let me see, okay. So I left these things inside this box for a, uh, well, it's been like, I think, three weeks or so. And uh, this is a uh, Japanese uh, white sweet potato. Okay, we're starting to have some, uh, um, what they call uh, slips. It's gonna grow out of it already. Of course, this one here, obviously, right? And get yeah, this guy here. Now those are uh, orange sweet potatoes. So we got one white sweet potato and two orange sweet potatoes. All right, so in this box we have red potatoes and russet potatoes and a few onions that's, uh, I don't know why, why, they're, why they're inside this box, but I'm not gonna bury those. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, be putting these things here. So that's just the uh, area for the uh, potato slips, so potato slips. And then this three to four feet, just like last year, will be for the uh, two potatoes. Once the slips grow out of those uh, mother sweet potatoes up there, it's gonna transplant them in this area here. Hopefully we do pretty good on sweet potatoes this year. Last year we got a few, but obviously uh, they wasn't very big at all. Uh, we have here, I planted beans the other day, okay. And uh, chard here, uh, kale right here, bell peppers right here. You know, on that side we're putting a few things too. So, well, we got a uh, spaghetti squash, yellow squash, cucumbers, uh, cantaloupe, watermelon, all on that side. So, we should be able to see uh, something come up here in the next few days. Next few days. Now. I will say over here it does look like uh, the ground is starting to crack and uh, plenty of these things about three inches apart see here we got a little crack crack here right I see something peeking out of there okay so it's starting to come it's been a whole week and uh, starting to get something finally Anyway, so let me get some measurements over here. Lay these potatoes out uh, before I start uh, burying them in the ground. All right, so I got the uh, the white potatoes positioned to where I want them to be buried. And uh, I have about 20 potatoes. But we got uh, five, six, seven. We got seven uh, russet, seven russet potatoes, and five, ten, thirteen uh, red potatoes, or purple, purple, red, whatever, <laughs> purple, red potatoes. Okay, here we have uh, again two orange, two potatoes, and we have uh, one uh, Japanese white potato. So we're just gonna uh, put these guys right here okay we're gonna come closer to the edge you know than we did last year since I'm not working with very much space this year I decided to take up most of this row with green beans and chard uh, two of my favorite things I really enjoyed last year and uh, they was two of the better turnouts so All right, let's uh, just dig a couple of holes, well, feet holes here. Start over here this side. Just dirt eye. I probably shouldn't have watered it yesterday, but okay, sorry. Okay, get the hands in. So we'll bury this in the seat. Good, thanks. 
Sorry. I'll uh, go about six inches deep. And as you get eight inches, I think. See so when to set this camera down in there. Just dig the hole or ditch. Okay, uh, trench, 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 straight across here, and uh, then I. Bring you guys back. Oh, yo, so I get this uh, ditch or trench dug and uh, laid the uh, potatoes in there. So, this year I'm not going as deep as I did last year, okay? So, if I go too deep, if you go too deep, the uh, potatoes have to put out too much energy uh, to get the the um the potato slip to grow above ground okay so now i'm just burying them only as deep as to where i have only about an inch or two of dirt okay on top of them okay probably about an inch and a half okay so it's only about an inch to inch and a half of dirt put it on top of the potato all right so let's cover it back up. That way we'll start to see uh, some slips a lot sooner. Okay, this year, then we did last year. We got here, he's sticking up already. Okay. So I to use my hand, you know, so use my hand is just, uh, get rid of potatoes. Garden is not going to be as pretty this year. At least not from the start. At least not from the start anyway. Alright, there's that. start digging a hole for this and uh let me go get started and uh bring you guys back in a minute all right y'all so this is the uh very first potato to go in the ground so i only dug this hole about six inches deep all right so from the top of the potato to the surface of the dirt Okay, it's only about three inches. All right, so the potato is about three inches. Uh, what in height? I'm gonna call it that. A width. So it's sitting on top of uh, the dirt. Uh, that's what that was only dug about six inches deep. 
and there's only going to be about three inches of dirt on top of it. Okay, so we're not going as deep this year with either with neither of the potatoes than we did last year. We're just trying something different this year. So um, to see what kind of yield we get. Last year went eight inches deep. This year just six inches. We're shaving a couple of inches off the top. Uh, say we come a couple of inches off uh, the depth. All right. So anyway, uh, let me go ahead and get uh, some more some more of this done and uh, bring you guys back in a minute. All right. So this is the last russet potato. All right. Uh, got both rows done. Okay, so six inches deep. Push that dirt back over the top of it. Okay. And that's it. So with that side, so just going over to the other side and get that done. All right, we're on the final potato. And this is a red potato. So let me measure this. Well, I already measured it. So let me show y'all what it measures at. So we are six inches from the from the top of the soil, right? So let's just drop the baby in there. Just like that. Put some dirt on top of it. Shit. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Okay. Yep. 20 potatoes. Buried under the ground. It didn't take long. Maybe about 20 minutes. And, uh, shoot. I'm done. Now I'm ready to go in the house and get some food. Because I'm hungry. Have to have breakfast this morning. All right. Uh, thank you guys for joining us on another episode of See My 2021 Cultivation. I'll bring you guys back here within the next few days so we can see some, hopefully see some seeds starting to sprout. Anyway, you guys have a good one, and I'll see you on the next one.